Hi everyone, today we're looking at Venn diagram problems. So this is trying to solve uh, real world problems using Venn diagrams. We're going to look at two uh, GCSE style uh, exam questions. So example one, 50 people were asked which country they have visited on holiday. 35 people said they had visited France, 19 people said they had visited Italy, and 7 people had not visited either country. The question asks us to complete the Venn diagram. So it draws a Venn diagram like this, where we've got the uh, universal space, and we've got two circles representing France and Italy. We know that seven people had not visited either country, so straight away we can put seven on the outside as representing that seven people had not visited either country. This is slightly different to normal Venn diagrams because seven here doesn't represent one person, it represents a number of people on the outside. So the numbers in this Venn diagram represent the number of people in that space. Seven people on the outside. Now we have to figure out how many people have visited just France, France and Italy, and just Italy. This is a little bit more complicated than it looks originally. So what we're going to do is highlight it yellow, green and red, and call it A, B and C. There's some number going to go at A, some number going to go at B, and some number going to go at C. And we're going to write some equations for this. We know that A and B are the total number of people who visited France. So A and B must add up to be 35, because 35 people have visited France. Similarly, 18 people have visited Italy. So that's the entire Italy circle, B and C, must be 18. And then, we know that 50 people uh, were asked in total. So if we add all these together, we will get 50. But we know that 7 are on the outside. So A plus B plus C will be 50 minus 7. So 43. There are 43 people left on uh, inside these two circles. So A plus B plus C is 43, but we know that B and C together is 18. So here we can replace the B plus C with 18. I'm substituting 18 in for B plus C. A plus 18 is 43. So we take 18 off both sides, we get A is equal to 25. So we can replace 25 on the Venn diagram with A. And now, since we know that A is 25, we can work out B. A plus B is 35, replace the 25 with A, 25 plus B is 35, I think you can see where this is going, B must be 10, so we can replace the B with 10. Now you should be able to see what C is, what do you think C is? Okay so B plus C is 18, so 10 plus C is 18, C must be 8. Okay. Good, good, good. That, uh, those are the final answers to the question. Uh, that is the number of people who have uh, visited uh, neither country. People have just visited France is 25. 10 people have visited both. And 8 people have visited just Italy. Let's just check it all makes sense. So uh, we start by looking at people who have visited France. 25 and 10. Yes, that's 35 who have visited France. 10 and 8 people have visited Italy, that's 18, that agrees with the question. And then 7 people have visited neither country. Finally, let's add them all together. 7 plus 25 plus 10 plus 8 is equal to 50. If you add them all together, it does make 50. So every part of our Venn diagram agrees with the question. We've got it right. Okay. Now, example two, this one's a bit more complicated. It says 35 students were asked if they had a smartphone, laptop, or a tablet. 19 students have a smartphone. 17 students have a laptop. 16 students have a tablet. 9 students have both a smartphone and a laptop. 11 students have both a smartphone and a tablet. 7 students have both a laptop and a tablet. 5 have all three devices. Complete the Venn diagram. So the Venn diagram will look like this, where it's got three circles and they overlap like this. We have to make sure they overlap in this uh, pattern here. So whenever you've got three 
separate groups, draw the circles like this. Okay, we're going to start by seeing that five people have all three devices. So five people have a smartphone, a laptop and a tablet. Five will go in the, uh, the centre overlap. Now it says that seven students have both a laptop and a tablet. But we all know, also know that five students have all three. So therefore these two, these two white bits here, where a tablet and a laptop overlap, must be seven. So therefore the missing number between five and this missing number must be two to make seven, because the overlap is seven. Similarly, 11 students have both a smartphone and a tablet. So here, uh, this overlap between smartphone and tablet must add up to make 11. Therefore, the missing number is six, because five plus six is 11. Nine students have both a smartphone and a laptop. So smartphone and a laptop are these two sections here. And we know it adds up to nine, so the missing number but to, uh, to make 9 would be 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. Now we can start filling out the, in the outer parts. So we know that 16 students have a tablet. So we look at the tablet circle and we know that this entire circle must add up to be 16. 6 plus 5 plus 2 is 13. Plus two, 3 would be 16. So the missing number is 3. Again, uh, in the laptop section, we must add up to make 17. 4 plus 5 plus 2 is 11, so we need another 6 to make 17. And then finally, we have uh, 90 students have a smartphone. 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 4 is 15. We will need 4 more to get to 19. We've uh, filled in the inner parts. But there might be students who have neither a smartphone, nor a tablet, nor a laptop. So how many uh, students are we up to? 4 plus 4 plus 6, uh, that's 14, plus 5, 19, plus 6, 25, plus 2, plus 3, that's 30. So this adds up to make 30. But we know there's 35 students in total. So we do 35 minus 30 will give us 5. Therefore, uh, to make sure it, the entire Venn diagram adds up to 35, there must be five on the outside. Okay, that was a lot to take in. That was definitely a long question and there was a lot of steps to that. What I recommend doing is rewinding the video to the start of this question and seeing if you can follow the steps yourself uh, or in fact do it yourself without watching the video. If there's any part you don't understand, feel free to ask in the comments. But if you're ready, I've got some practice questions for you to try here. It says, Tom asked a group of people what type of food they liked. 37% liked pizza, 76% liked, sorry, 37% liked pasta, 76% liked pizza, 5% liked neither of these foods. Draw a Venn diagram to represent this information. Find a percentage li liked both pizza and pasta. Now you have to remember here that percentages must add up to 100. So all the numbers in the Venn diagram will add up to be 100%, of course. Okay, so pause the video and I'll reveal the answers when you're ready in 3, 2, 1. There we go. So 90% uh, like just pasta, 80% like pizza and pasta, 58% uh, like just pizza and 5% like neither. Okay, that's everything from today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learnt uh, about Venn diagram problems. If you have any questions, please ask below in the comments. But, uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos on GCSE Maths. And, good luck in your exams.